What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, we're going to be taking a look over here at the Bitcoin price chart as the price sits at $60,800 currently as I'm recording right now. But in this video, we're also going to peek over at the altcoin market. It's an intense time in markets right now. While we've had the United States dollar currency index sitting up here above 106 or the DXY, now battling back at 106 right now. The United States stock market has also been pulling back, but we're finding a gap closure happening here on the NASDAQ just as Bitcoin goes down and closes the gap. Very similar to what we had back in January of 2021. I've spent quite a bit of time talking about the on-chain behavior, the old coin market getting back to the retracement levels and Bitcoin's price action and the similarities of these behaviors and how they all happened back in January of 2021. I showed quite a bit of this over there in markets in the morning, but TXMC most notably made his name for on-chain analysis of Bitcoin, had posted some things that are very interesting about the price of Bitcoin and where it's at. Whereas most people are celebrating the price of Bitcoin being back at its all-time high as being a similar moment of 2020 and 21 when we got back to the all-time high and like in 2016 and 17 when we got back to the all-time high. But as he's showing here and as we've discussed now for months, the price action is actually much more similar to January of 2021, as even denoted here in these images that he is showing here on Twitter. Now, I'm not exactly a on-chain sleuth to be able to give you the definition of all of these different metrics and what exactly they mean in regards to when Bitcoins are moving or when Bitcoins are being sold. But obviously, these guys find value in it and they see correlations of peaks and troughs coming in by looking at these things. With the value days destroyed multiple, you can see it has reached historic extremes that mark tops back in 2013. However, when we look over here to 2017 and to 2021, they actually marked moments right before the tops came in. And funny enough, here we are as high as we are and look back to 2021. Where was it at? Right there in January of 2021, which is what this correctional behavior was for Bitcoin back then in January of 2021. And also this little oval that I just showed you a second ago right there. These extremes on value days destroyed happen where? Right there in January. What do you know? We're getting the same thing. So we're having similar on-chain behavior happening right now, like we did back then in 2021. He goes on to share spent volume reaching into extreme levels. When did we last do that in 2021? What do you know? Right there, right in January of 2021. How about transfer volume ratio? extremes even more extreme than 2021 more extreme than 2017 as you can see in 2021 where was it right there in january in here of those extreme on-chain behaviors so currently price structure of an a b c correction happening in here looks okay today at least as it did back then in 2021 but the big test of time is going to happen now to see that prices can stabilize and hold themselves now and it sure would be nice if the dxy would break down and if the nasdaq can calm down why the nasdaq do you ask simple i shared it over here on twitter which you guys have undoubtedly seen many times here on the youtube channel the correlation of bitcoin to the stock market nasdaq falls bitcoin falls nasdaq rises bitcoin rises nasdaq falls bitcoin falls so on so on bottom up well what happens recently nasdaq stalls rolls over bitcoin stalls rolls over the correlation is just blatantly obvious. I don't know why we have to argue this. I don't know why we have to talk about block reward halvings and four-year cycle theories. It's right in our faces. So seeing some price action, calm down, chill out here for the NASDAQ and for the stock market would be absolutely fantastic. But we're at a very interesting place where things could calm down. Our price action very similarly resembles that of 2021. I've talked about this a lot as well. The altcoin market had not broken through all of its retracement levels when we were in this phase back in 2021. It was the escaping of this phase that eventually got the altcoin market to get moving and then Bitcoin eventually going into distribution and then the game was all over. As we all know and screamed about for the last month and a half, the altcoin market had gotten back to its 702 Fibonacci retracement. Correction came in, price fell, 
As we can see, super violent correction, but things we've definitely seen before. Showed that in the video that I put out yesterday. But even with Bitcoin setting this new low today, the altcoin market has actually still held itself together and still resembles very much of what it looks like as we're just trying to kind of hold ourselves together here after massive liquidations that took place throughout the market. Now, something interesting about the style of correction, of course, is just those similarities of how the price actually ends up behaving how these end up pulling back into these lows, these pull back into these lows, the big breakouts, and then the violent back tests that happen in here. But you really see all the little phases that actually happen in here. While they may look slightly different, really, if you just kind of ignore the big surge that happens in here, otherwise these things all have the same little areas in there, same corrective structures in here that are really identical as price consolidates does a couple of bounces, breaks, capitulates, a couple of bounces, breaks, capitulates, then price goes on, price goes on, and we go on to get our violent back test back in here. So this thing is still holding itself up together. You look over there at Twitter right now, it's pretty much gloom town out there. But as of right now, there doesn't seem to be anything catastrophic going on at this moment. Could things change? Sure. But as of right now, are prices actually okay? They sure seem to be. And hey, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll leave that historical danger level for the DXY as we now have 105.98. And well, here we are just a few minutes later, quite a bit of green showing up in the market now. Bitcoin back to 61.6. And so far, so good. Things seem to be holding for now. We'll give it a little time. We'll check in on it in the coming days. But so far, so good of really being similar to that January of 2021 time period and with the altcoin market really being able to hold itself steady in here after such a massive liquidation that took place just a few days ago. So we'll be looking for this thing to hold. We'll be looking for us to still remain steady in here for the altcoin market with the goal, of course, to try to work our way back up there back to the 702 retracement and give it another fighting chance. But on that note, I won't take too much of your time. It's an intense moment. I'd like to get this video out relatively quickly. Hope it gave you a couple of things to get the wheels spinning in your head when it comes to stock market correlation, on-chain behavior of the market, technical structures when it comes to Bitcoin versus 2021, when it comes to the altcoin market and actual corrective structures. If things change, we'll address them quickly, but you could see all those things, how they all work together, and I hope I gave a little bit of a picture for you. So. I hope you're having a good day. If you're looking for something to do, I did just publish a newsletter here two days ago. If you're bullish on crypto, if you think that we're going to be coming back, well, it's kind of important to pay attention to the trends. One of the things I've really been looking at has been developer activity, user activity levels. You guys know that. And I've been getting my hands dirty in a lot of this stuff to try to figure out what is it actually that people are doing. And there's no question, there's a massive move towards base. I've heard a lot of people say, hey, I'm bullish on base. And it's like, okay, whatever that means, man. There's not even a base token, <laughs> but I got my hands dirty and really played around with it a whole lot and I can totally see it. It seems like the places where the masses are going to be onboarded to in this market. So I was very fortunate to have TXMC come on board and this was co-authored together. So it'll be an attempt to provide you guys even more value in the future as he does have just a, such a phenomenal way of putting together data and charts. Otherwise, I do have an audio recording that I recorded in there that's 24 minutes long. You can check this out over here on blockchainbacker.substack.com. There's a link down here in the description of this video to blockchainbacker.substack.com and over there to bcbacker.com, where I have over 40 videos and over 11 hours of content deep diving into the historical behavior of the cryptocurrency market and teaching you how to set up your own charts and indicators within TradingView and CoinTrader Pro. Otherwise, I'll wrap this thing up, get it out quickly. There's a lot of action going on out there. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need a pick-me-up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.